Hey everyone, this is Derek here, and if you're watching this video, then most likely you can't get to the screen pictured on your iPad, iPad mini, or iPad Pro. And this is PUBG Mobile, and if you're watching this, it's probably crashing on you. Well, I'm going to give you a number of steps that you can try to hopefully resolve the issue. Now, there is a caveat, and that's that this app hasn't been out for long, and as a result, there are some bugs that will only be fixed through an update, and it might not even be something specific with your device, just something that the developers have to fix. So, here is PUBG Mobile, and we are going to pretend that it's not running so that we can go through some troubleshooting steps to hopefully fix it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to try is a simple power off and power on. And this can help the system if it hasn't been restarted in a while and there might be a memory leak or some software conflict. So in order to do this, you hold down the power button. It might be in a different position in your iPad, but for the iPad mini in landscape, it's on the top left here. So I'll hold that down for a few seconds. You can see there's a slider here. We'll slide this like that and then we will restart it. You know, we'll let it shut down and then we'll hold the power button again to turn it back on and let it restart. So I'll be back. Actually, let's do that on camera so you can see, I'll hold it down, it's starting to restart, and I'll be back as soon as it's back up and running. All right, so we're back where we started with a restarted iPad. And if this solved the issue, great. Otherwise, let's keep going. So the next thing we're gonna try is a hard restart. So you do this by holding down the power button and the home button at the same time until the screen goes blank and then the Apple logo appears. So we'll do that right now. I just have to hold it for a few seconds and you can see the screen went blank. Just keep holding it. And then there you go, you can release it once you see the Apple logo. So this is a hard restart and this can also, this can better clear uh, the memory of the, the unit and it can solve some other issues. So like I said, if a, if a normal power off and power on didn't do it, this is definitely the next step. So I'll be back with you as soon as it restarts again. All right, so we're back where we started after a hard restart. And you can try at this point to, re to launch the app and see if it works because uh, sometimes a hard restart does more than just a simple power off, power on in getting apps to run that are crashing on startup. Um, if the app is still crashing, don't worry, there's another step. We can go to the App Store and check under Updates and see if PUBG is there. So uh, obviously it isn't here because I'm up to date, but if your app is not up to date, then that could be the uh, cause of the issue because sometimes developers fix things and then push an updated version which resolves compatibility issues. So that's the next step is check the App Store and if you require an update on PUBG Mobile, definitely do that. So if the app still isn't running, um, what you want to do next is you want to quit and relaunch it. So we will pretend that it crashes. Um, I guess we'll see if it crashes on startup or not, but it probably won't because it seems to be running pretty well on this iPad mini 4. So we'll let it load there. So what you're doing by quitting and restarting the app is basically uh, stopping all the app's processes that are running and starting them from scratch. So what we'll do here, so we'll go back to home screen and then we will um, double tap. And then what we'll do is we will hold the app. So this is on iOS 11. We'll hold it and then we will toss it away just like that. And if I go ahead, I'll just give the uh, system a second and then I go ahead and launch it again, you'll see it's launching from scratch. So it's reloading everything. And sometimes, even when it crashes immediately, uh, you can do that, and then the second time you load it, it actually loads and uh, works fine. So if that still hasn't fixed your issue, the next step is probably to uninstall and reinstall the app entirely, with a restart in between for good measure. So in order to do that, we'll just press and hold the icon until it starts to wiggle. We will go here, tap that little X, delete PUBG Mobile, and delete the data. So you, you click delete, and it would disappear. And then you should do a hard restart. So remember that is pressing down the home button and the power button. And then after it reboots, go to the App Store, and then download the game again. I'm not gonna do that on this one just because the game takes a while for me to download. So um, for the sake of the video but that is the next step and 
if that's still not working, the only other thing that, um, there are two other things that I can think of. One of them is to go into your settings and then go to software update and make sure that you are up to date on the latest iOS software because sometimes earlier versions of iOS can also cause compatibility issues. And the final thing I can think of is if you go over here and then go to iPad storage, make sure that you have enough room for the game and for the game as it's running because sometimes if you are very low on storage, this will cause app crashes. Even if you have enough room for the game to sit on your iPad, when you go to run it, um, you don't have enough, because I'm not exactly sure how the iPads use like a swap file and stuff, but basically if you don't have more than, I'd say two gigabytes free or so, try to try to either delete other apps or offload old messages. And you know, you can see some of the options I have. And that way you can get to that number and potentially with more free space, the app will run. So, like I said in the beginning, sometimes the issue is just with the app, and this is a new app. Uh, PUBG Mobile has only been out for a couple weeks at this point. So if it's still not running, the only thing you can really do is message a software developer and let them know, and they're probably getting so many messages right now about compatibility issues that I doubt they'll get back to you, but hey, it might be useful to you know keep on top of them to fix this. So hopefully those steps helped at least a few of you uh, be able to get into the game and play the game and hopefully this uh, video is helpful so if you enjoy this sort of content definitely subscribe for more please give the video a like so other people can find it and uh, hopefully get help through it and I hope to see you in a future video soon